Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Apache Kafka. So, have you heard this term Kafka? Okay. If you have not heard, then you are in the right tutorial. Okay. So, I am going to tell you what is Apache Kafka and how is it different from an existing system which is out there. Okay. So, Apache Kafka, Kafka is nothing but a distributed streaming platform for sending and receiving messages. So, if you are familiar with the uh, JMS uh, pattern, right? So java messaging server so it uh, uh, there are lots of other frameworks uh, based on the jms patterns like you have a publisher and the consumer so when you started your uh, uh, computer science engineering or any engineering right so you would have heard about producer consumer problem right so that is a basic problem which we are trying to solve even till date and apache kafka is one of the solution which is using distributed uh, streaming for solving the producer consumer problem so if you take uh, rabbit mq or active mq or uh, any other mq managers right so or uh, the mq managers or any uh, similar messaging queues so there are some disadvantages with what is there in kafka so we are going to see what is apache kafka how they have overcome that so apache kafka is a open source uh, uh, framework which was created by linkedin initially and then they made it uh, open source by moving it to apache okay so basically it is a distributed uh, streaming platform so if you notice here this is the website of apache kafka so what uh, uh, apache describes that as kafka is used for building real-time data pipelines and streaming applications so it is horizontal horizontally scalable fault tolerant uh, wickedly fast and runs in production in thousands of companies so basically what they say is it is faster than anything else and it is distributed so if let's say you want to process uh, billions and tons of data at the same time right and you still you want to make it faster so if you if you are uh, familiar with using queuing systems so i have used lots of queuing systems uh, mqs and um, uh, other uh, rabbit mqs or active mqs or the ibm mqs so i have used lots of them the queuing systems are basically slower because you have a bottleneck in consuming the messages uh, from only one side uh, so even though if you publish from uh, 10 different sources when you consume the data from only one uh, side it is very slow because you are going to consume it only from one side as a single consumer right so uh, it is basically so and also it's very difficult to scale the uh, mqs if there is a, a space allocated for your uh, topic then uh, it goes out of sync and then you can't create more spaces until you uh, restructure your queue and stuff like that it is it is slightly difficult in uh, uh, existing MQ setups and you don't do real-time data processing uh, like how Apache Kafka does and how it distributes and scales okay so the major advantage of Apache uh, Kafka is it, it's a distributed streaming platform you can use it for lots of uh, purposes uh, so that's what we are going to see okay so this is how the uh, architecture of Kafka looks like so if you notice here uh, this is the Kafka cluster so Kafka cluster is basically a Kafka server. So that is the server which is going to control your uh, message inflow and outflow. So if you notice your producers are applications which we are uh, which we have designed to push messages, right? And consumers are applications which are designed to consume those messages. So basically consider this I am a producer and the consumers are my downstream application. If you consider me as a producer, then the producer uh, consumer then I uh, the, then the other uh, teams the upstream teams are my producers so they are going to push the data into Kafka servers and from the Kafka servers I'm going to pull those messages so basically as a consumer I'm going to pull those messages from the Kafka cluster so inside a cluster so what is a Kafka cluster right so Kafka cluster is a collection of servers which individually have some Kafka in start and they are called as brokers so basically a Kafka, Kafka cluster has literally n number of brokers which are there in a pool of Kafka system okay so those brokers will help me in doing load balancing scaling uh, and distributing the messages across the producer and the consumer okay so how do we how does Kafka manage these brokers because brokers are all installed in different machines right so how will I uh, speak with the different brokers and how will I know which producer to route to which broker and how will I scale that and uh, discover the services so that is when zookeeper uh, service registry comes into picture so zookeeper is used to do service discovery across the brokers and based on that the requests are routed to the corresponding broker okay so how is it distributed right if you notice here as i said each broker is a different server altogether 
so it is all distributed so you can scale at any time you can add new brokers at any point of time and then zookeeper automatically discovers that broker and then uses that broker so that is the broker uh, scaling part so how will i now um, partition my data so basically there is a concept of partition in kafka so you a server can be partitioned uh, into n number of chunks okay and then those partitions are linked to the topics so topics are basically a channel with under which a producer can be pushing a data and the consumer can get the data from the same uh, topic okay so topic is literally associated to a partition and from the partition you can store the data so producer will be storing the data in a partition let's say if a partition is full the partition you can use another partition so literally the topic will be using another partition so you don't have to worry about scaling scaling based on each topic so if you notice um, you can have a single topic which can span across different brokers or different partitions basically okay so that is where the distribution uh, platform is helping us in uh, large scale data consumption or data processing so if you see linkedin uh, was not able to process that the amount of data which it was getting uh, from the real time traffic okay using the traditional rabbit mq active mq or other uh, mq frameworks so that is when they created uh, kafka for internal processing and that is how uh, this is designed so the, uh, as i said right the distributed broker uh, management which is done by the kafka cluster using the zookeeper so that is what keeps them uh, uh, easy for easy to scale whenever they require okay and then there is something called consumer groups okay so consumer groups are uh, groups where you can consume lots of uh, messages from the same topic so as i said earlier right so we were uh, there is a problem where uh, you publish lots of messages into the queue and your consumer is not able to consume the message because of the throughput which is coming inside right so in that case we can create consumer groups so you basically split the consumer into multiple consuming parties and then you can consume the messages from different partitions okay as i said you, your message resides in a partition okay from a partition your consumer consumes those messages if there are let's say 100 consumers there could be 100 or more partition so the consumers directly picks up the data from the corresponding partition and then they process it okay so the producer if there are hundreds and thousands of producers they push it into the partitions and from the partition the consumers get processed so based on the uh, scalability um, uh, purpose or the uh, reasoning you can increase or decrease the consumers which you need in the consumer group so if the data is less and if you have less partitions you can have less consumers if you have more partitions you have more you can add more con consumers okay so that is how the Ka uh, kafka works so the kafka ecosystem works as a producer consumer um, uh, problem so okay you produce the data so it stores in a kafka cluster okay and there are lots of brokers which are distributed and kafka cluster manages the broker using zookeeper and these messages are pulled by the consumers in terms of groups or individual consumers okay so that is how it works so as i said right um, the, this is this was the architecture so this is the in detail architect in depth architecture of how a partition is and how a topic is so if you notice here a producer can push messages onto a topic and inside the topic there could be multiple partitions if you notice here there is a partition 1 partition 2 producer a is pushing pushing the messages onto partition 1 and partition 2 and these are consumed by different consumers okay and if you notice producer b is pushing a message into the same topic but onto a different partition and that is consumed by a different consumer so this way you can process the message uh, in a much faster and a much quicker fashion okay so it is very fast and you can easily process them parallelly so it solves the problem of uh, having a bottleneck while consuming the messages so you can have con uh, it consumed from a partition directly so that you don't have to worry about uh, your processing speed or uh, parallel processing okay so that is where kafka is more powerful you can create partitions and you consume the messages from the partitions directly uh, by by the consumer and those are nothing but consumer groups okay so that is uh, that is all i had to cover uh, i don't have any uh, hands on uh, example to show but i would try that and then uh, see how i can show it for you guys so i haven't uh, tried it uh, in my local machine i already tried uh, apache spark and uh, docker already I, you would have seen my other videos i already tried that for my local machine but i haven't tried 
uh, Kafka but um, uh, I'll let you guys uh, when, uh, know when I try it out but uh, this is what Kafka does so Kafka is a distributed streaming platform uh, which can do uh, streaming message processing and then you can have multiple consumers consume those messages and stream them parallelly uh, and process data much quicker than the existing messaging queues okay so that is it for this particular video if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, let me know if you have any queries or concerns in the comment uh, meet you again in the next video thank you